Hi everyone, it's Jane Mason here from Virtuous Bread and it's about 12.25 here in Mexico City. That's 12.25 in the afternoon and I've just come home from a morning of, uh, I don't know, running around, doing chores, getting new jars for the quince jam that I'm making, doing yoga, you know, everything that you do when you run around. And I'm starving because I haven't had breakfast yet because in Mexico we eat breakfast pretty late. Admittedly, 12.30 is a bit late for breakfast on a weekday, but it's not unheard of. A lot of little restaurants actually don't even start serving lunch until 2. So um, very typically what we do when we're here in Mexico and we're starving is we do the equivalent of making toast, and that is we make quesadillas. So I thought I'm going to teach you how to make a quesadilla, and here's what you need. You need a tortilla, and you need something to go inside. Now, in this case, I'm using cheese, but you don't have to have cheese. Okay, a quesadilla, even though it kind of sounds like queso, which is the word for cheese, does not have to have cheese. It can have anything. I mean, anything that you would put in a sandwich. Possibly not peanut butter. Um, possibly not jam. A savory sandwich. You know, cheese, ham, um, mushrooms, uh, peppers. Uh, you could also use like chorizo or I mean anything okay uh, it can have pretty much anything I'm happening to use cheese because that's all I have now the important thing is to do two things one you have to soften the tortilla now this tortilla happens to be made of wheat because that's what I happen to have but I could easily happen to have tortillas made of corn and this one, you might be able to tell, it's actually raw, okay? It hasn't been cooked at all. Now, if you make your tortillas at home, they're gonna be raw, that's corn or wheat, and if you buy them, they're probably cooked. But either way, you have to warm them up or else they'll just break. So if a corn tortilla is kind of cooked and you get it from the tortilleria or you get it from the supermarket, you always have to warm them up. And you do that in a dry frying pan or a comal. And if you've ever gone to a kind of rubbishy Mexican restaurant where not a single person there is Mexican and you get a taco or some other kind of thing that has a tortilla and it tastes awful and it breaks in the middle where it's folded, it's because the chef did not know that he or she had to warm up the tortilla. Whether or not it's cooked, you have to warm it. Now, the other thing that you wanna do is you wanna shred your cheese. And I'll show you that just in a second. Now here in Mexico, for quesadillas, we use uh, cheese from Oaxaca, queso de Oaxaca. It melts really nicely. Um, you can use some substitutes. Uh, cheddar's too oily. You want something kind of mild. You can buy this weird thing called string cheese. I do not know what it's made of. It, it may work. Um, but the exciting news is that we do have lots of different cheeses here in Mexico and in my new book, which you know about, which comes out in January, it's a Mexican cookbook, yay! And it has a lot of substitutes. So for all the different cheeses that we use here or different vegetables or different spices, they're kind of substitutes for stuff that you could get pretty easily outside of Mexico. Now, the other thing that I love in my quesadilla is some salsa make it a little bit spicy and uh, for anybody who was watching the other day on the uh, Mexican cooking show that I'm doing I made salsa matcha which is an oil-based salsa and it's here and at the bottom you can see all the seeds and the nuts and then they're floating in the oil which has gone red because of the dried arbol chilies so without further ado let me turn this around here. Whoops, there we go. And I'm going to take you over to my comal, which is on a bit of a medium heat. Okay, this is a super thin thing that we roast stuff on and warm stuff up on. Uh, so if you've got a super, super thick frying pan, it may take a little bit longer. These heat up really fast. Now, the point about warming up a tortilla is you want to flip, 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 flip it. Okay. Lots of flipping, every few seconds, every 15, 10 or 15 seconds, regardless of your tortilla is wheat or corn or raw or cooked, you just keep on flipping it, flip, flip, flip. And there is a bit of a sweet spot. You don't want it to dry out, but you need it to be flexible. And now I'm doing this all one-handed, which is kind of amazing. 
I'm gonna put my cheese in. See how I put my cheese on one half? And then I'm gonna fold it over, okay? You and squish it down. Now it becomes a little too hot to hold. So I'm actually going to initially look for just a spoon to squash it so that it's stuck together. And then still with my, you know, cause you're never really holding it for very long. Okay, just squashing it flat. Now, quite frankly, at this point, you can turn off the heat because the cheese is gonna melt. You see how the, ow, okay, that was hot. The cheese is all melty in there. So you can just, if, even if you turn off the heat, it will retain enough heat for the cheese to melt, okay? But you just basically wanna keep flipping it. If you have cheese in there, you want it to melt because of course melted cheese is delicious. And if you have anything else in there, you just want it to warm up. As I say, it could be pretty much anything. Um, now, I'm gonna take this off of the heat. Whoop, and bring it over here. I'm gonna try and stand you up. And let's see if we can do this. Not really, not so very well, but anyway, there is my quesadilla. And I'm gonna take my delicious salsa here and just stir it up a bit to get the stuff that's yummy at the bottom. I'm gonna open up, Mike, see how that's all melty and amazing? And open that up. I'm gonna put a bit of salsa in there, this is pretty hot, so I don't want too much. Okay, yum. And then I am going to turn this around again and I'm going to eat it. Here I go. Mm. Yum. That is the 30 second breakfast lunch to your dinner. Whenever we're hungry, we kind of come home and make one of those. And um, it's super, super, super good. If you had some ripe avocado, you'd put it in at this moment. If you had a different kind of salsa, some pico de gallo, stuff it in. Anything you like, you just stuff it in there. So, a couple things to remember. Quesadillas do not need cheese. Quesadillas can be made of a corn tortilla or a wheat tortilla. But whenever you use tortillas to make a taco or to make a quesadilla or enchiladas or anything, Regardless of whether they're raw or they're cooked, you have to, have to, have to warm them up either on the comal or in a dry frying pan. Makes them flexible so that they don't break. If they're raw, it clearly cooks them and um, you can then use them and they're delicious and they smell amazing. So uh, that is the quesadilla and I hope you enjoyed it. And there are lots and lots of different things, uh, quesadillas and uh, tacos, enchiladas. There's even a burrito in my new book that comes out in January. It's part of the World Vegetarian Series, published by Absolute, which is an imprint of Bloomsbury. And mine is simply called Mexico. It's the fourth in the series. There are three books that have already been published, India, Japan, and Italy. They're all beautiful, they're all amazing. And I'm really, really looking forward to you being able to cook from mine.